Yo, what's up, Bob here. Welcome to Vinyl Finds on the Bob Bradley YouTube channel. This is number 124. That's right, folks, number 124. I found some records this week, and we're going to get into them right now. As I drove through the city this week, I decided to stop into the comic book shop because they were having an anniversary sale. 20% off all vinyl. And lo and behold, they had just gotten a collection from a gentleman who had spent over 20 years living in Europe. So needless to say, they had a ton of imports there. Now, this gentleman's name was Jim Beam. That's right, like Jim Beam bourbon. And if you know anything about Kentucky, you know that bourbon is king in Kentucky. Now this fella, he was five or six generations removed from the original Jim Beam. But one thing is for sure, he was a meticulous man who kept excellent care of his vinyl. All of these records are in near mint condition. So without further ado, let's get started. Coming in hot out of Germany, Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life. Yeah, that's right. You might know this record because it has songs like Sir Duke, Isn't She Lovely, I Wish. Whew. Man, a smoking piece of art from Stevie Wonder. This is complete, has the booklet, has the seven inch, near mint condition, liquid bass sounds going on the synth, incredible, very tailored sounding, black background, super quiet, flat on the Motown German label, very cool looking. How does it sound compared to the first US on Tamala? Sounds very good. It's kind of a toss up. This is a little more tailored sounding. This is a little more open sounding. The cleanest copy you can find is the one that you would want. But in this case, we're gonna go with the first US. It does sound a little more open, a little more airy, a little more natural. Both are very clean. They had this marked at $20. After the discount, I only paid 16. Very good deal. Here's one I was rather excited about when I pulled it out of the crate. Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms, First UK. That's right. You can see this little, well, this is a busy label, but First UK on Vertigo. Yeah, there's a little Vertigo emblem right here. Hard to see. That said, this thing sounds incredible. We all know this record. Money for Nothing, huge song in the 80s, features Sting on the vocals. It's fantastic. Master disc, mastering, crank it up, excellent sounding guitars. This is the first US pressing RL in the Dead Wax. Both of these records sound fantastic. Can't really go wrong either way. Always wanted to have the first UK because I have the first Dire Straits record also on Vertigo. Little spaceship here. So now it has a brother up there on the shelf. <laughs> By the way, that's a great sounding present. Moving right along. So my wife, when I met her, had a huge Dylan vinyl collection that she bought in the hate in San Francisco. Now, she didn't pay a lot of money for it, so the records are in various levels of playability. So when I saw a stack of near mint Dylan records pressed out of Holland, well, I had to get them. Here's one of my favorite Dylan titles, The Free Willin', Bob Dylan. Side two starts with Don't Think Twice, It's All Right. And that's exactly what I thought when I saw all of these Dylan records. Don't think twice, Bob, just buy the things. Saw this, great, great record. Masters of War is on here. Side A is Blowing in the Wind, Girl from the North Country, Masters of War. Whew, a hard rain's gonna fall. The record ends on I Shall Be Released. This is a really masterful piece of art from Bob. One of the greatest records, killer cover. Bob Dylan might be the greatest songwriter of our time. Over 20,000 songs written 
Whew. This is what the label looks like, folks. Out of Holland, this is a repress, but boy, oh boy, does it sound good. Super quiet, meticulously pressed. They really know how to press a record in Holland, which is in the Netherlands. European pressings have a, a unique jacket as compared to pressings from the US from this period, because they're usually kind of flimsy, glossy. I kind of, I, I like the way they feel. I, I'm a big fan, but they, they often get creased fairly easily. This one looks pretty nice, so I'm happy about that. Let's see what else I got. Bob Dylan's Desire. This is a record that the U.S. pressing is kind of eh, considered not a great sound in pressing. This one sounds a little better. This is not an audiophile record to start with. The recording must be an audiophile recording to be able to make an audiophile press. But still a very cool record. A lot of people uh, consider the MoFi to be one of the better sounding pressings of this record. They had this, super mint, beautiful condition. I've never owned this record. Bob Dylan, self-portrait. Yeah, this is on a bit of an earlier Holland label. Nice, 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 nice. Another one of my favorite Dylan records. Subterranean Homesick Blues, Maggie's Farm, anyone? Yeah, look at this. Beautiful, Holland Pressing. Yeah, here's a record that is universally considered a great sounding record. Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Bob Dylan soundtrack, primarily an acoustic outing. And you might know this record because it features Knocking on Heaven's Door. I paid around $10 a piece for these records and I got one, two, three, four, five Dylan records, right? Near Mint, beautiful sounding stuff. So I've got about 50 bucks in this stack of Dylan records. If you consider that that's one modern audiophile repress, reissue, if you will, it's a pretty good deal, right? Here's one I was most excited about. They had $26 on it, and after the discount, it was looking pretty nice. Another pressing out of Germany, Morrison's Hotel. Now this fella, clearly while he was in Europe, he was buying mostly American music. I was hoping for some Floyd or Zeppelin or Stones, Beatles. There was none of that. It was all primarily American artists. That said, I was super excited to see this Morrison Hotel. Starts off with Roadhouse Blues, which we all know from years of radio play. If you've spent any time in the bars at all, you know that Roadhouse Blues is a standard cover band tune. Everybody goes crazy when he sings, woke up in the morning and I got myself a beer. That said, I can only imagine what it was like when this record came out and people drop the needle for the first time. Roadhouse Blues comes on, it sounds amazing. It's a typical kind of blues tune, but then it gets followed up with Waiting for the Sun, which is an insane sounding track. <laughs> Super heavy. This is an incredible record. I know some people have different feelings about The Doors. They're kind of one of those bands, you either love them or you kind of hate them. Me, I love The Doors. This is on the German Butterfly. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Lovely sounding record. Really great. How does it sound compared to the first US? Well, kind of the same deal. This is more open, kind of clearer sounding, a little more natural. This is super tailored. The quality of the pressing really shines through because it's incredibly quiet and just a lot of detail on the instrumentation. Great sounding pressing. If you see one of these German pressed Morrison hotels, you should definitely pick it up. Uh, my original is on that red Electra label. And last but not least, a small stack of records from Credence Clearwater Revival. That's right, a little CCR. Here you go. Whew. Smoke and condition. These are all UK pressings on the Liberty 
These are represses. Boy, do they sound great. You know, I've never had any Credence in the collection because it's just so prevalent on the radio. And I thought, I know all these tunes like the back of my hand. I don't really need to own the records. I used to hang out with an old sea dog named Jim Niedermeyer. He used to drive around in his IROC. <laughs> That's an international race of champions. Limited edition Camaro. By limited edition, I mean millions sold. <laughs> I digress. Listening to CCR. My favorite CCR tune, Run Through the Jungle, which I unfortunately did not get. All that said, when I dropped the needle on this record for the first time, I started to realize something that you don't get driving around in a car listening to CCR. The stereo spread, how the instruments are interacting with each other. The interesting thing about these CCR records is when it's a Les Paul, it sounds like a Les Paul. When it's a Tele, it sounds like a Tele. When it's a Strat, it's a Strat. It's very detailed recording, actually. I love on Suzy Q, there's like this really fast tremolo coming in. like, And uh, some of the vocal is sung through a, kind of a filter or something, kind of a original bullhorn sound that would be very popular in the 90s. Really cool. The power of Fogarty's voice, unique and spectacular sounding. Yeah, Credence Clearwater Revival. This is classic, classic record. What else did I get from them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Green River. Also on the Liberty. This is killer right here. Obviously has Green River, Bad Moon Rising, yeah. And rounding the group out, Bayou Country, yeah, Born on a Bayou. Check out this cover, super psychedelic, right? Cretan's a little more psychedelic than we would think. Uh, they're really good at taking just typical electric guitars into amps and making them sound very cool. Awesome, awesome record, yeah. Heck of a stack. Whoo! Booyah. <laughs> yeah. Really great deal. Hey, listen, I know a lot of people have been talking about how used vinyl is going up. But, but, when you compare it to the prices of new vinyl, it's still a heck of a deal. You, you might notice Got the old Stratocaster out here today, yeah. 1958. Me and the guys from Condors and the System, the band that I play in, we've been recording again. We're working on a five song EP right now. Two of the songs are out and on Bandcamp, all streaming platforms, and here on YouTube. I will link it at the end of the video, and in the comments, most likely. Check those out. Go on over to the Condors in the System YouTube page and subscribe, because we have a bunch of material coming out. Yeah, I wrote like a ton of songs, and uh, we're just working through them, recording them here and there, and just kind of sliding onto the internet, so. Anyway, please like, subscribe, tell a friend, leave some comments. Until we meet again, bomb out.